In this video, we're covering the basics of Figma so you can get started with web design. Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Terry Molini, and I'm all about achieving financial independence through real estate investing and online business. So if you're new to the channel and you're looking to achieve financial freedom for yourself, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It really does help me out and I'll keep cranking out these videos. So if you're looking to start your own online business and you need to design a website, Figma is the perfect tool because it's free and it is packed with a ton of powerful features. And so I kind of want to help you get started so you can get the process going. So let's dive in here. So I just want to go over the basics of this program here. So if you start out at the top left here, you see this little home icon. And this little drop down has a couple options here. There's your own personal files and a community tab. So right now we're in my personal and you basically just see all your files here. These are actually something different here. This is kind of like an ad for Fig Jam, which I'll go over uh, another time. But you just see all your files that you've created. And then if you go over to the, to the community tab, this is where you can find all kinds of cool stuff. They have plugins, widgets, uh, design systems, wireframes, illustrations, all kinds of stuff, and a lot of plugins too, to kind of expand the features of Figma. And so you can go into any of these files and open them up and you can duplicate it, which means it kind of like copies it and then it opens up in your own system and you can go in and make adjustments to whatever they have in here. So super cool. And it can kind of help you get started. Like if you don't know anything about this, you can just like click on web design and then, you know, just click on something that interests you, duplicate it and then see what it has to offer. Um, so there, you can get started really quick and start messing around with, with a lot of different uh, files in here. But we'll go back over to um, the personal tab here. And let's say you wanna create a new file. So here we're gonna to go to new design file, open that. And it's gonna open this interface here and it's super basic and I just wanna go over kind of all the tools in here. Uh, and there's not a lot, but this actually packs a whole lot more features than you might expect. So. First off, uh, we need a, an area to, you know, cr start creating like a website or shapes or whatever you're going to be using it for. So first we want a frame. So we'll click on frame and then the options will change over here. And you can click on all kinds of different things. There's presentations for slides. There's desktop size. There's tablet sizes, phones. So there's a lot of options here to get you started. So we'll just click on one just to open up a frame here and boom, it opens up just like that. And you can change it if you want with the dimensions here, the width and the height, and you can also grab it and move it around too. So, so that's where you want to start. And from there, we can just start doing some shapes and there's all kinds of shapes here. There's all, obviously you can see here, rectangle, line, arrow, ellipse, polygon, star. You can place images in here as well. So we'll just get a basic shape in here. And if you notice, there's shortcuts for all these. So if you just hit R um, and then draw, you'll get a rectangle and, and so on and so forth here. Okay, so there's a basic shape. Um, and then move, obviously. V key, this is gonna be something you're gonna use a lot. I'll show you what this one does here in a second. Um, so here we have like the pen tool and the pencil tool. And the pen tool, basically you can use it to draw shapes. And if you click, if you just click, it's gonna be kind of an angular shape. If you click and drag, you'll get these Bezier curves if you wanted to go a specific shape. Just like that. So if you're trying to draw a specific shape, that can be handy. Um, so that's what that does. And then the pencil tool will, um, let's see. Yeah, pencil tool basically draws. So if you're really looking to draw something freehand here, you can do that as well. So that's what those do. We'll get rid of those. And then obviously here is the text tool. So you can just type in some text. And anything you do here, there's gonna be features on the right-hand side. So uh, you just kind of select all the text there and then you can change this, you know, the, the font type or the, uh, the font weight and then the size here. So we'll bump this up so we can see it. You can change the color here and there's also other effects down below. Um, so, and you also um, 
this is like the text box. It's like a container for the text, so you can actually adjust, adjust that um, independently from that. Okay, so now I want to show you another tool here. So if you take this text and place it in here, like that, and if you select both of those and do Command G, it'll group them. And we'll go back, to, well actually we'll stick with the arrow tool here. And if you grab the corner and drive this around, kind of watch how it responds. Okay, now if we go back over and do the scale tool and do the same thing, it scales up the entire thing in proportion. So if you want to, if you had like a bunch of things in here, like uh, an image and text and a button and stuff, and you just wanted to scale it up or scale it down a little bit, you can use that tool to scale the whole group up or down. So that's what the scale tool does there. Okay. The hand tool is just for moving around the interface. So that can be, that can come in handy. And then if you're working with anybody else, this comes in handy as well. So you can, let's say you don't like the color. If you're working with somebody, they can actually leave a comment. Just click and say, you know, change this font family to something different. And then boom, it leaves a comment. And if there's anybody else who has access to this file, they can click on the, on the little message here and then you know, and go and make the change or they can reply back or they can say they did it and basically hit this resolve check mark and it goes away. So those are the basics of the interface. Uh, obviously, it, there are way more features than this, uh, but I just wanted to go through the basics of the, of the tools here at the top and kind of the, the function uh, uh, options you have over here on the right side. Uh, which we'll dive into more at another time. So that pretty much covers the basics of Figma. It has a lot more functionality of this. It's way more that I could cover in one video. So I'll be doing this basically as a series over time to kind of show you all the different uh, features and the capability of Figma. So you can use it to either help you communicate with somebody who's designing your site, or if you want to try and design your site yourself, this is a great tool and has a lot of built-in functionality that you can use to your benefit. So. If you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.